This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Oh, every pony, and welcome to the show. Oops. Hello, every pony. It's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera. So, it's Tiny Pony Plushy Perfect Harvest. Try saying that five times. So, yeah, I'm back just for this episode because can't keep hold of him. We've spoken on this channel lots of times about how toy shops in the UK are just not getting any new MLP products in. In fact, went there earlier today and they've got literally just two products and it's not looking good. Um, so I've gone over to the dark side. I just saw these things called um, Unicorn Academy. I've never ever heard of it before. Apparently it is a Netflix show and they have blind boxes. I didn't want to get the sets because they had like little figures and I'm not really interested in the actual doll figures themselves. So I got a blind box. I've sort of googled these. I've got an idea of what they look like but the clarity of the photos wasn't very good so this will be a baptism of fire. It's quite a big box. This is a little bit weighty. Anyway we shall see. So it's got lots of, I think it's purple. It's got some sort of flower pattern on the top. Um, nothing on the bottom, just War and Peace and the barcode. These toys are made by Spin Master. You've got the Unicorn Academy logo there, which is actually embossed. Collect all eight in a little circle there. It says collectible baby unicorns. And it says peel here, so. Okay, we'll try that in a minute. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's showing you how to unbox it and there's no real detail as to what ones you can get in here so here we go Ooh, right. it's like five surprise except it looks like a, a flower for some reason it's plastic and it's pink and it's got like elastic in it and oh my god <laughs> Right, well there is the unicorn. Do you know what? That's actually not bad. That's really, really nice. She's got a little white muzzle. Her front left hoof is white. The rest of her, I presume, is like a purple. And her mane and tail, I think, they're either dark blue or purple. The mane and tail is actually uh, slightly flexible. But the rest of her body is sort of like a hard plastic, which is kind of flexible. She doesn't actually have irises by the looks of it. But those eyes are quite uh, reminiscent of the old uh, Fluttershy eyes, aren't they? I'm hoping that she's got a white patch around her right eye. Otherwise, the paint has uh, gone wrong. And they don't have cutie marks, but why would they? It's not my little pony. So that's her, and I'm presuming. No, that's it. That is literally it. Does this clip back together? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at the uh, pamphlet because I'm sort of intrigued as to what they are. Because it's obviously it says collectible baby unicorns and uh, da, 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 da. so I'm not sure which one we've got I'm sorry if I uh, seem a bit out of it in this video because uh, this is truly a baptism of fire for me there we go that looks like her so we've got oh bluebell oh that's a nice name so you've got bluebell you've got clover you have baby leaf bit of an unusual name baby cinder okay she burned things a lot she an arsonist then you also have raz razzmatazz sunburst he's looking a bit off color he's still got his white streak down his front but um yeah you're looking a bit ill mate um and you've lost your glasses and your beard and then we also have starjoy 
Okay, so yeah, we've got Bluebell. And I've got to say, yeah, that's a really, really nice little figure. It's nice molding. The horn's very flexible, but that's because it's part of the main piece. But apart from that, you know, it's all good painting. There's no brew marks or anything. Yeah, it's just a really, really nice little figure. I've just noticed there is a little peg in the base of the flower. Also, there is a little peg hole under Bluebell's left back hoof. So let's peg her in there. Yeah, there we are. And just for size comparison, here is Bluebell next to Wave 5 Unicorn Twilight. And obviously because she's rearing up on her hind legs, she's a bit taller. If she had all four legs on the ground and was standing normally, I don't think there'd be much of a difference in it really. I'm very pleased with little Bluebell here. She's very, very sweet and uh, she'll be a nice part of my knockoff collection. Obviously not knockoff like uh, the fake isn't that, but you know what I mean anyway. If you're like me and you like blind bag ponies and you're disappointed that there aren't any blind bag ponies in shops anymore or just interesting pony toys, Unicorn Academy is not a bad one to start with. Just to say for anybody who's interested, uh, she was £6, which I know it's more expensive than your average blind bag pony would have been back in the day but i suppose you are getting the flower display stand with it but uh, you know it's still a nice quality thing thank you very much for watching this very very short toy review but interesting toy review i hope i hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it and you like what you see don't forget to like comment if you fancy and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in one of my other guises in the next video Cheers for watching guys, take care. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find the bell of peanut that has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. But if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. And the singing is also quite bad.